Last time on Hellbound. You know, these these were domesticated dogs, but they, you know, they were in an environment where they got to develop their own pack mentality, and you didn't want to mess with it. Right. Those dogs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and a couple times, there were uh, groups of them that were mutilated. Really? I definitely need to get back to Notarock. As she's coming back, she said she felt like she was being followed. Wow. You know, large black creature, that's all she, and she she said it was the wog. Welcome to Notarock, man. Ready, Thank you, Ready glad, to have some fun today or what, man? I'm glad to be here. Every time you dig something up, it makes you wonder, what did this person look like? Yeah. Who was this? When did they lose it or drop it? Well, let's get out here and uh, see what we can conjure up out there. Well, we are finally here, metal detector in hand and exploring the lair of the WOG. Our group has a few things to be worried about besides the WOG. There are poisonous insects, snakes, and even the peat bog itself. Barry Chandler here shows us how deep the gateway to hell can actually go. But that's not going to stop us and Ricky Frost is the first to hit a target. Well, Ricky Frost is off on his mission to try to find some artifact. We know for a fact that the Spanish ran through here, the English, probably early French, and the American Civil War definitely come through here, cavalry patrols, as not far from here was the Battle of Jug Tavern. The buckle. been a strap from a saddle. Oh wow, I mean, you found that right down there in the middle? Right. In the bottom. Okay, well, you know, the Civil War, the cavalry was riding around these parts too, man. Yeah. Yeah, or could be older than that, who knows? We definitely should have it checked out. It's pretty deep. Yeah. It was six to eight inches deep. Yeah, I mean, there's no telling what could be in this thing, man. I mean, if the Spanish knew about it, at least in 1796, they knew enough about it to put it on the map, you know? Ricky took the lead with his belt buckle. It was an incredible find. Of course, I was off distracted by something else. I found the bath where the wog goes. It's where the bag, the wog takes his bath, I'm thinking. Iron, it could be part of the axe. Looks like another find for Ricky. I really need to start stepping up my game. And soon enough, I got a hit. Can't wait to see what we can find over here. Looks like it's part of a plow. It's got, a, it's got a little hole there. Yeah, I would say it's the back of a plow. Just pulled the, for tilling or whatever. Hit a rock and probably snapped off. And yeah, it ain't nothing. Uh, 
Nothing too exciting, but at least know the machine's working. <laughs> well, we spent the rest of the afternoon exploring the Norderock, and no, we didn't find the WOG. I know all along I've been telling you about how haunted and spooky this place is, but I gotta tell you, being down here firsthand in the belly of this beast, it kind of feels peaceful in a way. Of course, I'm real brave. My car's parked 10 feet from here, and I know I can outrun. Well, nobody, but uh, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I maybe I ought to start now. Hey, hey, look at that. See you guys. Well, it's been an amazing day out here in Nord Rock again, and uh, thanks to the Chandler family. Again, they were the best hosts ever. And uh, heck, Ricky found that buckle down there in the middle of that pond, man. I think he said it's like eight inches deep or something, but what that does is give you hope that, you know what, there's stuff here, there's stuff that can be found. Of course, we're gonna try to figure out how old that buckle is. And, and I tell you what, the stories are, the stories mean more, if, you know, probably a lot more than any kind of a trinket we find, man. That's, I think that's why the gods have put us here is the finest story. And what an amazing story we found. Winder formerly an Indian town known as Snowden and, and home to the Norderock and the gateway to hell. I'm glad Destiny put me in my path, such incredible people and, and uh, kind enough to show us the way into the lair of the Wog. But there's something else that still bugs me. The temple that was supposed to be in Norderock until no other than Georgia Governor George Gilmer took it to use in the construction of his own house in Lexington, Georgia. We pay him a visit on his final resting place. Today we're at the grave site of former Georgia governor, George Gilmer. You may know that we, uh, we visited his mansion where the North Rock ruins are supposed to be. Fought in the wars of 1812 to 1815, known as the Creek Wars. Uh, later, after the war, came up here to Lexington, practice law and was a congressman eventually uh, becoming a two-term governor of Georgia during the 18, late 1820s and, the, and late 1830s, two terms. And uh, oh, probably nobody more responsible for the Indian Removal Act, Cherokee Creeks, sending them down on the Trail of Tears than this man right here and his policies. And then to have the audacity to have these stones removed, the sacred shrine that the natives so, so just loved, and take the, the, the sacred sites of the natives and have them incorporated into his foundation across the street here is just, um, oh man, it just is incredible to me. But um, I think it's only fitting uh, to wonder if the Norder Rock mysteries will ever be revealed and whether the secrets went with him six feet under here to, to his final resting place, George Gilmer, and whether he went north or whether he went hellbound only God knows.